Hey guys, welcome back to Turner Outdoors. Um, this is the opening. Uh, this is the opening up of my video. Um, I've had something on my heart that I've really wanted to do for a while now, and uh, while I've been making all these videos, and uh, I've got a Bible verse I've had on my heart, and uh, I want to share it with you all. It's out of John 16. Verses 32 and 33. Behold, the hour cometh, ye is now come, that ye shall be scattered, every man to his own, and shall leave me alone. And yet I am not alone, because the Father is with me. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be good of cheer. I have overcome the world. And uh, we we were reading these these verses over uh, Sunday school a few weeks ago, and uh, it just it it really came to me, you know, that uh, Jesus gave His life up for us, and just. You know the how the world treated him, how the world mocked him, kicked him, pulled his hair, beat him, thrashed him, and the Roman soldiers just, I mean, just brutally, brutally hurt, hurt him, and uh, I just all these things, all these things that he had went through, all these things, tribulations, it says. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulations, but be good of cheer. I have overcome the world. That verse right there, you know. I mean, they, they laid him up on a cross and uh, nailed him. Nailed him to the cross, and he still asked God to forgive them. You know. And uh, I just feel like in life, you know, life can really knock you down, mock you, beat you, thrash you, hurt you, and all these things. But through God, you can overcome the world. And uh, you know, you're you're gonna go through you're gonna go through trials. It says it right here. You will go through trials and tribulations. You're gonna have problems. Uh, you may you you may be going through a divorce, losing your house, uh, losing a loved one, sickness, depression, stress, an addiction, all of these things. But through God, you can overcome them. And uh, I've I've went through some dark times myself. And uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of people. You know uh, that probably watches this video and da 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 da. He ain't. Uh, that's that's dumb. I don't I don't know why he's talking about all this stuff. Yada yada yada. But there's people out there that are going through a lot right now. And uh, for for this video opening up, uh, you know I, I'm I'm saved. I believe in God, and. Uh, you know he he's he's drugged me out of some some dark places i mean some dark places and i don't wish it upon any of my enemies you know depression stress anxiety uh, all that and I, I you know even even though i go i go to church and uh, uh you know I, I try to go to church every time the doors are open but you know i'm not perfect and even though you know with god i can find peace with all these things that I go through with, I can find peace, and I feel like this is what the world needs. You know, this this world is, it is, it's it's a terrible place, and people mistake it as their true home, but they don't. That's that's the thing. People mistake this world as their true home, and and if this if this was our true home, we. You know, and if this was our true home, we would not have all these all these tribulations and trials and and stress and and just all these all these things that can really kill and tear a person down. Uh, this is not our home, 
when you leave here, you'll know where your home is. And uh, it's either heaven or hell. And right now, I just this world right here. I mean, it's this is this is not. Uh, I mean, this is this is life, you know. But my my eternal home is with God. And uh, you know, you know, when you reach when you reach to eternal home with God, you're not going to have all these problems, stress, and and sickness, and and uh, you know all all these things. But uh, I just feel like. If you can really trust in God, you can overcome the world. And uh, but I mean, you gotta have faith. And uh, I mean, I slack every day. You know, I, I slack every day. And uh, I should be doing a lot more than I am. Uh, but you know, the devil will get you down, man. I'm, I'm telling you, the devil will get you down. And he'll take he'll take your energy. He'll he'll he'll, he'll He'll do whatever he can. He will take your worst fears. He will take your worst fears. And he will mock you with them. He will mock you with them. And uh, I just... you just, you got to have faith in God. But, I mean, you're going to go through a storm. And uh, if you have God by your side, you will overcome the storm. And you'll build your faith. That's that's what I had to do. You know, I, I, before I really got... I was always saved, but until... I had went through all this depression and anxiety and all these things, and it really tore me down to where I didn't want to leave the house. And uh, I was going to the doctor, and, and they were taking x-rays and blood samples, and they couldn't find anything out. And I was still, you know, just I couldn't even walk. I mean, I was I was so bad depressed. I had lost 20 pounds. Uh, I just felt terrible. Just felt terrible. I didn't want to go around anybody. I didn't. I didn't want to go to work. I, I just hated life. I was in a dark place. Everything around me was just dark. And uh, he took me out of it. But now I, I still go through things. I still go through things. But when I call upon His name, I, I get peace. I get peace. And uh, I, I guess that's 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 why I'm still here. That's 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 why I'm still here. And. Uh, I don't know. I just felt like I needed to do that. It had been on my heart, and uh, maybe maybe this can help somebody, uh, you know. And and another thing, I wanted to share too. A lot of people, I see a lot of people out here that have so much potential in doing all these things, and I mean just just like uh, I I don't know just. Uh, you know they could their passion with what they do they could they could turn their passion into a business and just all these things or i mean even you know i've seen a lot of people that also want to make youtube videos and stuff like that but they're too worried about what people think about them you have to you have to overlook all that stuff bro i mean you have to overlook all that stuff you have to get out of your comfort zone i mean you can't worry well uh, he he's gonna say this about me. She's gonna say this about me. They're gonna think I'm stupid. They're gonna think I'm dumb. I mean, yeah, I I used to think that, and I've always wanted to make this YouTube video. I, I always wanted to have my own YouTube channel, but I kept on worrying about what people thought of me, and until I got right with God, you know, and had true faith in God, he's he's really the only person that I care about. What what I think, you know, but. Uh, Get out of your comfort zone. Put your faith in God. And uh, go out and do something. You don't have to wake up and be miserable and just so much anger and jealousy at somebody. Don't be jealous. That's another thing. Don't be jealous. You know, I've been jealous. I've been angry. I've, I've wanted to fight. I've wanted to do all this stuff. But it's it's garbage. It's garbage. Uh, you know, love the neighbor. Love, love. You need to have more love. Jealousy is not good. Jealousy is just going to hurt yourself. You're not doing nothing to them, getting mad at them, talking behind their back and all that stuff. That's not going to do nothing for you. I mean, it's just going to it's going to build up anger inside of you and it's going to hurt you. I've trust me, I've dealt with it. But have more love and uh have uh, have faith in God, and I'm telling you, you can uh, you'll be surprised what you can do. So I just wanted, I, I had that on my heart and I wanted to share it. So I hope that uh, it'll help somebody out there because I'm, I try to work for God. And when you're working for God, you want to be on his payroll, you know. Uh, 
so I try to do these things and help somebody. If you're up and uh, you've got a little money and all your bills is paid and you see somebody struggling, help somebody. There's no sense of uh, living a selfish life. There's no sense in it. You think that... Uh, and, uh, and another thing, a lot of these people, they wake up every day and they work a job. They think that they're, you know, they think that they were born to wake up and have a job and just take that money and buy, you know, clothes, just waste it on clothes and just waste, waste all that, all that on themselves. And they ain't worried about helping somebody else, man. You're not going to get nowhere in life. <laughs> You're not going to get nowhere in life uh, by doing that. Help somebody. Have more love. Have faith in God. And uh, you'll be surprised what you can do, I'm telling you. You will be surprised what you can do. And quit saying, why, why, why is this happening to me? Why is this happening to me? I can't, I hate life, blah, blah, blah. Why is this happening to me, man? You're put on this life right here. This is God's course, man. This is a test. You're putting, you're, you're being put through a test, man. This is all the wise, all the wise. Give the wise up, man. Give the faith to God. There's a reason why you're put through all that stuff. There's a reason why you're putting through uh, sickness and you've lost a loved one or you're going through a divorce and your house is burnt. I mean, it's you're going to have to o overcome that. You're, this is this is what it says, man. These things I have spoken unto you that in me you might have, you might have peace in the world. You shall have tribulations, but be good of cheer. I have overcome the world. I mean, just think about what Jesus had went through. I don't I don't know of a person right now that has that has went through what Jesus had done. I mean, they beat him, they thrashed him. I mean, they, they drove nails through his hands, and he died for us, man. And because he had so much faith in God, because he, he, he knew. I mean, he had so much faith in God, and we need to be more like Jesus. But uh, I hope everybody has a good day. I hope somebody can get something out of that. And, uh, you know, I love you all, and... Uh, Hopefully you can enjoy this video, and uh, I'll get back to y'all. Thanks. Bye.